Number one, guys, find out when the auction actually begins. You don't want to show up late and you miss that cool thing that you could have bid on. Don't show up late. Find out what time it starts. Get there a little bit early. And also on that note, find out if they have a preview night. My local auction has a preview night a couple nights beforehand. Just so you can go in and actually look at the merchandise be in auction for that week. And they let you come an hour early before the auction actually begins on auction day. Just to take a look and see, you know, if you didn't get to check it out or where everything's located at. Kind of get your game plan on how you're going to get the stuff or not to miss it. Number two. I mean, if you don't have number two, you can't even bid on anything. When you show up to the auction, get a bidder number. They look, I'm sure, different from auction to auction, but you need one of these to bid on some stuff to take. So don't forget your bidder number. Number three, bring tons of funds. What I mean by that is, how are you going to pay? Cash or credit cards. Some places might take personal checks. I'm not sure. But um, cash and credit cards, they always take. Now find out from your auctioneer if they charge you a percentage if you pay with a credit card. Because most do that too. Number four is make sure you have room in your car or your truck or your van. Heck, however you got there. Make sure you have enough room just in case you win a bunch of stuff. You have a way to take it home. Number five, guys, very important. Pay attention at the auction. You move your head one little bit, you might miss something good. It actually happened to me today. I was busy moving my, st I was outside, I was busy moving my stuff to the side and an auction sold really quick for a bunch of old arcade marquees. The like plexiglass glass things on the top. I really wanted those and um, they sold within like a s two or three seconds. While I was busy fiddling around, they got auctioned off and the whole box went for $7. So pay attention to what's going on around you or else you'll lose. Number six, number six, very similar to number five, paying attention. Um, number six is, um, let me show you this. This is an old keyboard. This, I looked up, sells for tons of money. I have it tested to make sure it works, but it's an old 80s keyboard and it sells for a lot of money. And um, where I'm getting at is number six is make sure you look at the items around more than once. I cannot tell you how many times I've passed up stuff and um, did a quick view or just wasn't really paying attention as much as I should. And this keyboard is a perfect example. I passed this thing like six or seven times and then they were doing the auction. I just looked over and I didn't even notice it, it was in a big box. Uh, paid $17.50 for the whole box. And I mean, this keyboard, if it works, I think it was selling for like over $70. I've had really good luck with 80s keyboards. So pay attention and don't look at the items just once. You know, take your time and check everything out. Number seven. 
Number seven, guys. When bidding on an item, in your mind, set a limit for yourself. I'm going to pay such, such, and such for this. Um, if you can preview the items before the auction actually starts, I would do it then. Uh, reason for that is, when it gets into a bidding war, you might just keep bidding just to outbid the other person. And sometimes bidders know this, and they stick you with the crap. So just have your head on your shoulders. Number eight, last one on this list, use your resources. When I say that, y'all have a smartphone, use it to your advantage. If you can make it the preview night, go. Check out the stuff ahead of time. Make a list of what it, what you see, what you like, what you might be interested in. Go home and check it on your computer. Look it up, eBay, Amazon. But you got a smartphone with you, check it out there. That's what I do. Always check your stuff. Use your resources to your advantage so you don't overpay. I've seen a couple things where I'm like, oh man, I got to have it. I just had this feeling. I checked it. Thank God I didn't bid on it. The amount I was thinking I was going to pay or how much I was going to pay for it, I could have bought 10 of them on eBay for that price. So always use your resources for your advantage. Trust me. And that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like, and you know, drop me a comment. Let me know if you have any um things that you would have added on this list or... You know, what do you like about auctions or have you ever been? Any other questions at all? I'd love to answer them. Thanks again for watching, guys.